up this trap process because today's NHL entry draft took four hours from beginning to end, and this was a trap that had zero trades happen, which in and of itself I feel is noteworthy. Not a single trade on draft day for the first round, which I don't know. That was very weird to me. It's just very boring overall, and then it's it's even more shocking that the draft took so long. It's like, well, if you're not trading, then shouldn't you know who you're grabbing at this spot? Like, what are we waiting for? You know, but can I talk about who is big deer? I'm not a draft person, so I don't know a lot about these prospects. First overall, the obvious everybody knew who was going number one overall he already had a number with the team the team has already been making trades in order to like bring in talent to put with the guy before he even gets to the team and that's Connor Bedard center for Regina from the WHL 5'9", 185 pounds 143 points and 57 games played in the WHL the Chicago Blackhawks, obviously. Number two, D&M Ducks on the clock. And a lot of people thought they were going to take Van Dilly here. A lot of people, um, some people have Van Dilly as the second best player in the draft. Some people have as the third best player in the draft by Mitch Goff. I saw one draft board that had Van Dilly as the number one player draft and Bedard is the second best player in the draft but I think a lot of Anaheim fans assumed Van Dilly was going to be the big year but instead the Anaheim Ducks take Leo Carlson center out of Orobro from Sweden 6 foot 3 198 pounds he had let's see, let me find, see if I can find his stats second overall to the Anaheim Ducks who revealed a new jersey today um, it, was, it is a Mighty Ducks jersey although it's a different logo than the one that a lot of people were expecting it to be I'm not a huge fan but I do have to admit it looks better there were two pictures one of them that was like on a sound stage and it looked very dark and muted but then one person took a picture of it out in the sunlight just wish it maybe didn't have like the teal striping on it. I think without that look a little bit better but then at third overall you have Adam Van Dilly center 6 foot 295 pounds out of Michigan he goes to the Columbus Blue Jackets and this video comes out um, that he had made before the draft so when interviewing him he said he actually did want to go to Columbus he said that was his dream destination fans who have historically not been a franchise that a lot of people like desire to go do this to feel good you know this guy's probably going to want to stay around long term as long as you know things are decent for him and also I guess that could have been a reason that he ends up falling to three there fourth you have Will Smith going to the San Jose Shark Center 5 foot 11 181 pounds out of the USA U18 development team uh, by the way Van Dilly put up 65 points in 36 games Smith put up 104 points in 52 games into 
his interview after the pick, the uh, interviewer got him to the uh, Fresh Prince of Bel Air theme, which of course was expected. Fifth overall pick, we have David Reinbacher, defenseman at the Clotin in the Swiss League, six foot two hundred eighty-five pounds, and I think some people consider this an off the board pick. St. Petersburg, yeah, and that's, I think SK St. Petersburg is like Putin's team, like it's his favorite team, um, so it's probably even like especially more difficult for him to get out of that, um, out of that team, get over to the States, which is why some people, like I said, thought that he was going to go to the Capitals, have Ovechkin, but, um, but we'll see, we'll see if he gets over to Philadelphia, definitely a boomer bust move, a big swing for them, but if he does come over and he plays for the for the Flyers, that's a, that's a great move. I think he has potentially, you know, his talent is second second best in this draft, in my opinion. 
So that leads to Washington Capitals at 8th overall to take Ryan Leonard from the USA UAD National Development Team Program. Right wing, 5'11", 192 pounds. Again, I don't know much about these guys. I'm just, I'm just telling you what their names were they're taken. Leonard had 76 points in 49 games played. And then at ninth overall, the Detroit Red Wings take Nate Danielson for the Brandon Wake Kings in the WHL. Center, 6'1", 185 pounds. At 10th overall, St. Louis Blues take um, the guy with my favorite name in this draft. This, this guy is my favorite name in this draft. Close contention with the guy who was 12th overall, but I love this name. At 10th overall, the St. Louis Blues take Dalibor Dvorsky from AIK in the Swedish 2nd Division, center 601, 201 pounds. That's a big boy there at center. Dvorsky, he's like a, I'm pretty sure he's like a power forward, 200 foot guy. Kind of reminds me a little bit of like a Ryan O'Reilly kind of, or like a William Carlson type. At 11th overall, Another Swede comes off the board here. I think this draft had six Swedes drafted in the first round, which I think is the record. So I think last year there were five Swedish players taken in the first round, and then this year was six. But Sweden making a great um, showing here in the first round of the NHL draft. I would really love someday to get over to Sweden and watch some like hockey there in Sweden. I think that'd be really cool. I've watched a little bit of German hockey online. But outside of the NHL and the WHL, I haven't really watched uh, any other leagues. I really need to start expanding my horizons a little bit there. 11th overall, the Canucks take, take Tom Willander from Rogo Jr. in the Swedish Junior League. Defenseman, six foot one, 180 pounds. See, solid all around defenseman, more of a defensive defenseman than a scorer. Twelfth overall, we have the Arizona Coyotes again, and they take Daniel Butt. I think this is probably my second favorite name in the draft by Dvorsky, Daniel Butt, from Yaroslav Jr. in the Russian Junior League. So, at the sixth, they took Shemeshev, who's from Yaroslav Jr., and here they take his teammate. Neil Butt, left wing, six foot five, two hundred and three pounds. Absolute monster here. So the Coyotes take two teammates who probably won't be over in the United States for at least a few years, if ever. Both Russian players, and both of them were considered reaches. They were considered off the board picks. So I'm not really too sure what the Coyotes are doing here. Very interesting the situation for them. I'm not too sure, but I don't know if, if you have more insight on that. Let me know. But to me, it's just kind of a head scratcher. I get the desire to want to bring in, you know, two teammates. That makes sense. They already have chemistry, but I don't know. It seems weird. Maybe just a cost cutting move. Who knows? 13th overall, the Buffalo Sabres take Zach Benson. Winnipeg in the WHL, but was that team the one? No. Wait, it was, right? Didn't that team move to Washington? I think Winnipeg's just the Winnipeg Ice. And I think they just moved to some place in Washington State. I'm not too sure. But he's a 5'9", 163 pound left winger, Zach Benson. He put up 98 points in 60 games in the WHL. It's pretty Overall, we have Parade and Jaeger. No relation to Aaron Jaeger, hopefully, from Moose Jaw in the WHL. 5'11, 166 pound center. And Braden Jaeger, let's see here, put up 70 points in 67 games played. 
15th overall the Nashville Predators who are hosting this draft. They take Matthew Wood at the University of Connecticut. He's a right winger that's six foot three hundred and ninety-three pounds. At sixteenth overall, the Calgary Flames, who've just sort of had a complete roster blow up over the last few days. They take Samuel on Zegrin Vancouver Giants at the WHL. Left winger that's six foot three hundred and eighty six pounds, fifty six points in forty three games played. Seventeenth overall, the Detroit Red Wings take Axel Sandine Pelica. That's a dope name. Axel Sandine Pelica from Skellefteå Junior and Swedish Junior League. 5'10", 176 pound defenseman. Another Swede off the board. I need to start watching the Swedish Hockey League. Maybe I'll do a video like looking at the Swedish League or something like that. Like looking at all the teams and trying to like figure out who I should start watching. 18th overall, the Winnipeg Jets just made a big trade that I'll talk about obviously at a later time. 18th overall, they take Colby from Owen Sound at the Ontario Hockey League. Left wing, 6 foot, 190 pounds. 19th overall, the Chicago Blackhawks get their second pick in this draft and they take Oliver Moore. The United States U18 National Development Program, 5 foot, 11, 188 pounds center. Um, Barlow, the pick before this, at 78 points in 67 games. And more, Oliver Moore at 64 points in 53 games. I think that this website I'm looking at only has the stats for North American skaters, which makes sense. It's a Canadian website. I'm looking at Sportsnet. 20th overall, the Seattle Kraken take Edward, or Edward probably, sale from Bruno and Chechia. 6 foot 2, 170 pound left winger to go with their rookie of the year winner, um, Matty Beneers. At 21st overall, Charlie Strummel is going to the Minnesota Wild. He's from Wisconsin. He's a 6 foot 3, 212 pound center. And let's see. So if he's. He should have stats on here since this is just North American skaters. He had 12 points in 33 games played. This seems like kind of an off-the-board pick. Let me see. Set up some of their other young guys, especially because 
you know, you have the, you have the Rangers, you know, they have some of their young players who haven't really panned out recently, you know, most notably recent uh, first overall selection, Lexi Lafreniere has not really panned out at all. Capo Caco hasn't really panned out, so maybe drafting a little bit lower here will be better for them. We have Gabe Perot, who definitely slid down the draft boards there, but an elite playmaker. 24th overall, Nashville Predators slide Tanner Mullendike from Saskatoon in the WHL, 5'11", 182-pound defenseman. Then, hold on, who did the Blues take? Be everybody the Blues took in this draft was a Swede. At 25th, and then later at 29th, the St. Louis Blues took Swedish players, and then they took their Swedish player at 10. That's crazy. Every single player the Blues took with all three of their first round picks were Swedes. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna do a video about the Swedish Hockey League. Like, I have to start watching this league. 25th overall, St. Louis Blues take Otto Stenberg. 5'11", 180-pound center from Frölunda Junior in the Swedish Junior League. 26th overall, the San Jose Sharks take Quentin Musty from Sudbury in the OHL left wing. 6'1", turn pounds. Young guy, they can come up with Will Smith potentially. The 27th overall, the Colorado Avalanche take Gillum Ritchie from Oshawa in the OHL, 6'2", 185 pound center. 28th overall, we have another player from the London Knights going off the board to the Toronto Maple Leafs, Easton Cohen. 5'10", 175 pound right winger. And at 29th overall, the St. Louis Blues with their third pick in the first round, they take Theo Lindstein from a Marinas in Sweden. Six foot one hundred eight pound defenseman Theo Lindstein. I want to read about this guy. This most game two way defenseman. I want to read about that because the Blues have a lot of interesting players. Physical forward, okay. And thirtieth over. Hurricanes take Bradley Nadeau, 5'10", 161 pound left winger from Penticton in the BCHL. 31st overall, Colorado Avalanche again. They take Mikhail Gulyev from Omsk Jr. in Russia, 5'10", 172 pound defenseman. And this dude um, is like a puck moving kind of smaller, fast, playmaking offensive defenseman, and it seems like Colorado's just trying to, like, grab up all those offensive defensemen, like, on the, on the draft progress, they were saying this guy is, like, a, he kind of, like, projects to be, like, an Adam Fox type, but, but like, it really seems like Colorado is just building from the blue line out. And then finally, at the last pick in the draft... Stanley Cup winners, my favorite team, the Vegas Golden Knights. They take David Edstrom, 6'2", 185 pound center from Frölunda Junior in the Swedish Junior Leagues. So, the last player is a Swede. Um, and we get a Swedish player now, obviously William Carlson as well as Swedish, so we'll have another one on the team. I don't think we have any other Swedish players. Golden Lions, Swedish players. Oh, Robin Leonard, Swedish, but he's kind of retired now. So yeah, we only have one currently, William Carlson, but previously we had Matthias Janmark, Oscar Dansk, Robin Leonard, Oscar Lindbergh, Carl Lindbaum. Those are all Swedish. David Edstrom, and this guy is apparently like a power forward, big center, can't be bullied off the puck. There's a clip that got posted on um, Twitter. He 
was in front of the net, some dude came in and tried to like check him off, the, you know, get him out from front of the net, and the guy who checked Edstrom actually ended up like falling down because Edstrom just didn't move, so definitely seems like a kind of guy who fits into the system, Vegas tries to play, hard checking, 200 foot game, all that stuff, but who knows if we ever see him on the team, if we do, it'll be like 3-4 years, but still. Interestingly, not a single player from the QMJHL was drafted in the first round. They were completely shut out of the first round of the draft. And not a single Finnish player was drafted in the first round. So, two little interesting things to note, but that is the first round of the NHL entry draft. I'm not going to talk about the other rounds. Maybe if there's some notable prospects or something that happened. I'll talk about that in the off-season video that I'll probably do here in a couple of weeks when some more moves have gone down, but let me know what you thought of, the, of your team's draft, um, the players your team got, who you think the winners and losers of this draft were. I think early predictions are the Coyotes kind of reached hard here, and the Blackhawks have got some great young talent, obviously, Bedard, but then they got that guy, Moore, who kind of fell to them, though a lot of people consider that a steal. I think there's one other guy, like Crystal, I think his name is. Crystal or something. Some people think they might take him in the next round. And he's another guy that's really fallen down the draft board, and some people are like wondering why he's fallen so far. So let me know what you thought. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content.